Hello everyone, this is Ripper of Ripper Gaming and today I just want to make a short video uh, showing you how to prevent your Asus ROG Ally from automatically trying to upgrade itself to the latest BIOS. If you don't know what I'm talking about then there are two BIOSes currently out 319 and 317 and uh, it's been proven uh, on my channel and, and, and other outlets as well that the 317 BIOS is faster in several games and so if you've reverted back to 317 for that purpose then you don't want it to keep trying to auto update to 319 so we're going to cover that today so first of all I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on and uh, we're going to see if this pops up like usual and tries to auto update us to 319 we are currently on the 317 BIOS but um, whenever you do a complete restart uh, then you might run into this issue. So usually you're going to see it pop up with Republic of Gamers twice, like it's doing right now. And then it's going to boot into the Easy Flash utility and try to update your BIOS. So it should do it in just a moment here, and then we'll cover how to uh, stop that. Alright, there we go. So it's saying Asus BIOS update allow you to update the BIOS. Now we're going to say no because it'll automatically start in 60 seconds. You have to be plugged in for this to happen otherwise it'll just say plug it in. Um, you can turn it off from there or you can just plug it in and say no I do not want to upgrade. So that might work for one or two restarts but eventually it will try to upgrade your BIOS again. So this thing's going to restart now we're going to boot into Windows and then we're going to cover how to get in there and stop this from happening ever again. Now, please be aware that once you do this, it might not auto update to a newer BIOS. We all understand that Asus is aware of this issue and that they'll probably be putting out a new BIOS, I would assume, in the next month or so, maybe less, um, to, to address this. So we might see it go from BIOS 317 to 319 to um, perhaps. 321 or 25, whatever. They're going to have a higher version. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and just kind of cover this so I don't have to edit out my personal information. All right. So we're starting up here. Takes us into our game library by default. That's how mine is set up at least. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and close this. Now, if you are using um, my Asus then it's probably going to be trying to automatically do updates for you. So I'm going to go in there now and show you that. So when you go into my Asus here, you're going to see Essential Updates. So Essential Updates, it's got an AMD graphics driver here, which I actually just did. I can't find any notes on this, so um, I'd love to make a video if it has any notable performance improvements. But I went ahead and updated that because I'm going to try and test out everything. So the next thing you're going to see here is this BIOS. So it just says 319 hotfix. Um, that's one I'm trying to avoid. And it's saying your device needs to be updated. So we're going to close out of that. And it's usually going to pop up and say you need to update. So if you go to your Windows button here and you right click it, you're going to go into Device Manager. So when getting to device manager, you're going to see this little uh, warning sign here. So typically when you open device managers, if everything is installed correctly, it'll just look like this. And then you can you know, expand on things if you want to. But in this case, firmware was already out there because it's got an update it keeps trying to push. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into firmware and system firmware. And there's a few ways on how to do this online. Uh, but one of the ways is just to go and disable device. Now, I warn you if you go this method that it might have trouble updating to the latest BIOS when um, Asus comes out with one. So, uh, if we go to disable device here, it's going to say it's going to cause it to stop functioning. So, we hit yes, and then you'll see it's got this little mark on it showing you it's not there. Now, when Asus comes out with a new BIOS, you may have to go in here, right click, and choose enable device. So don't do this without being aware that you might have to go back and re-enable this device later. So this isn't going to disable your firmware. This is going to disable the update for the system firmware. So now we're going to test this. We're going to close out of this and we're just going to reboot the device. 
In fact, I'll just do a full shutdown uh, and then start it back up. And uh, I don't have a great view on the top here, but you can tell it shut down when you just have one red light. It'll show the white light over here while it's still shutting down. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this back on. Kind of reposition everything here. Sorry if it's weird audio, working the camera over the mic there. So this is gonna go through its normal startup process. And so if it keeps trying to update the firmware, it would do the double boot and then ask us to um, go in here. So anyway, it looks like it booted up correctly and no issues. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and just try this one more time and make sure it is indeed working. Uh, and some of you might notice that it even pops up a little thing on the bottom right of the screen here that says firmware update required. So it doesn't do that after you've disabled the firmware. So now we're gonna go ahead and just tell it to do a restart and see if it tries to update the firmware. Um, after that, I'm gonna do one more, just shut down and start up and uh, just show that it doesn't pop up. And uh, uh, you probably will see I'm kind of fast forwarding these just so we don't sit around waiting forever to watch Windows reboot. So there you go, it booted up, we didn't have an issue. Um, and then this is my final test here where I'm gonna go down and shut down. And uh, if, if you're not using a mouse and keyboard, you can always hit this command center button here and you can go down to this power button here and you can just tell it to shut down here as well. And up top, let's see if you can see it again. We've got the white light and the red light on. And as soon as that white light turns off, then we know the system is uh, completely shut down. Okay, so that's multiple times restarting and shutting down. And I think that shows that that will prevent you from having to keep constantly getting, uh, getting prompted uh, to update your BIOS. So hopefully that helps if you're experiencing this issue. And uh, if you like the content, I appreciate a like and subscribe. Thanks, everyone. Bye.